Yeah, man, that was Oh, that of... was me. I approached you guys. Please. That was you? So, yeah, I think I approached you guys. Why? Uh, EPM, why? <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't attack. You're at Tony's. That was at Tony's, right? Yeah, that's me. Yes, I'm, oh, I'm at Tony's. Oh, my God. I like the place, man. Oh, dude, that's sick because it's tripping. But how you doing, man? How you doing? Doing great, man. What about you? I'm doing great. Um, haven't been on the server too much. I've uh, been kind of occupied um, hmm. with work. And there's a new series on my channel. Uh, if you guys go check that out, uh, link will be in the description. Um, I saw it. It's great. Been enjoying it. Huh? I've been enjoying it. Oh, what great. are you talking about? Your uh, series. You mean the actors ascended? Yeah, I got, oh. a, got a bunch, a bunch oh, of I friends in there. So you've been watching the whole thing. Be honest. Mm -hmm. Damn. Yeah, I got some friends from my theories. Actually, some of the people from Barbic are from my theories. Gracie. Oh, that's and uh, cool. Do you remember them? Uh, no, I don't remember them. That's crazy. I mean, I gotta, I gotta get, I gotta talk to them. That's crazy. I didn't even know like people from. Uh, it kind of makes sense because they're kind of in the same genre. Uh, after Mr. Send is more of like a PvP more than RP, so yeah, I mean it kind of makes sense. Too, I heard. Um, uh, which which which, uh, which one of the videos are your favorite? The Monus Roth or the Roller Glow? The the, the Monus Roth. Huh? The Monus Roth. For sure, for sure. Yeah, man, that that's like my main nation. I love that place. So, um, as you guys don't know, this <laughs> is um DPM Magician. Uh, he's a big figure on here. Uh, on LTC and FRP, and I've always wanted to get down and sit, um, sit and talk with him. Um, if you see him in game on the battlefield, he's pretty scary. But if you talk to him um, on Teamspeak, he's a pretty nice guy. Um, but um, you know, who are you? What like, you know, for the people who don't know you, uh, introduce yourself. You know, already. Um, well, I'm Deep Magician. Obviously, if you just introduce, also go by Ko. Um, to be blunt. As I'm, as I'm famously known for, quite a controversial person for all the wrong reasons. But um, what I should state is that some of that is a blurred past. Some of that is kind of not true. But once you get to to talk to me, I'm, I'm a good guy. So yeah, yeah. I, actually, you got a YouTube channel too. I, I see that. Um, how come you don't really mm -hmm. post like that? I'm not really a YouTuber. I have a YouTube channel. I post videos, but I'm not like a YouTuber. Mm. Uh, it's more of like a best way to describe it is just like I like to post kind of like fun, memorable things. Okay. Uh, I don't really pursue it as like a hobby. I got you. I got you. I, mean, I got you. Um. So, you know what? What got you into the game of Minecraft? When did you start playing? Uh, necessarily. Yeah. Um good question. I um I first started playing MC, I used to play uh RuneScape. <clears throat> old old school RuneScape. Ooh, old school RuneScape. Uh, with my friend and he set me up with an account. Um uh, and so I I got on and I, I learned to play MC with him. Just me me and him together. Um and then on YouTube I found a I think a first YouTuber called Petri the Gamer Nerd, no. and he did the, a video series about Lord Craft. And I think I remember correctly, it was um, an undead attack on. Uh, I can't remember the name. It was an Aegis City. Mm. I did an I did a video on this, on this undead attack on the Aegis City, and um, yeah, it hooked me. I applied and. I think it was the first MC server that I ever played, so, yeah. Ooh, interesting. I was actually going to ask you, like, um, did you play any um, servers before this? But that's crazy. Like, so you're, literally your start to, like, this game was the role player thing. So you've never really been on any kind yeah. of survival or anything like that. Oh, it was my first experience on RP servers in general. That's crazy. Um, so how old were you when you started? 
Were you like a squeaker or? Oh yeah, um, <laughs> major. Um, so much so that I didn't even speak until my voice had matured. Um, I think I joined when I was it was twenty eleven. Twenty eleven. So twelve years age, twelve twelve years old. Jesus Christ, bro! Listen to me. You might have been a squeaker, but if you literally heard my voice, you would be like, "Oh my!" So I already know. I literally started when I was a squeaker when I was twelve. Um, I actually started making YouTube videos when I was twelve. That was not a good idea. And I was when I tell you, I was one of the biggest squeakers of all time. Like usually, I like on my, on my other videos, I would play a clip of like kind of showing the example, but I don't even want to do that. I'm not ready to show the people yet how bad I was. Um, so yeah. Um. So talk about your brief history on LOTC, like just a brief kind of overview of, you know, your life on LOTC. Well, that's going to be long. Um, you said brief. Just make it, yeah, <coughs> make it brief. Cause I know you had a lot nine, of experience. Nine years of history. Um, I first started playing in ages, the first map of LOTC. Um, I never really played it kind of like religiously. I had about uh, a couple hours play time a week. Sometimes I didn't even log on a week. Mm -hmm. um, it started to play, to play pretty seriously when I had a skating injury, uh, which left me like inside the house for a couple couple months. And that's when I started to play LTC pretty religiously as a kid. Mm -hmm. I ran into a bunch of friends. Um, Chuckaboo was the first friend I met. Um, I'm still friends with Chuckaboo today. And... Then I, funny story, I was with the Teutonic Order. I don't know if you know who they are or if you know about them. No. But I was with the Teutonic Order and <clears throat> I logged on and Murtoch was the Hawkmeister at the time. And he was going to save Salvus. Salvus was quite a well known kind of noob, kind of uh, tinker. It was well, well known and it was active. Um, he was going to defend it from a raid uh, by a group called the Flayed. And when we arrived at the city, we were told that there was 10 of these Flayed inside of this tavern. And there was easily about 50 of us. And I watched about 40 guys go, go into a tavern and never come out. And oh. um, I was quite, quite amazed by this. So I actually decided to betray the two thorns in the heat of the moment. Ooh. And uh, it was actually quite a major rule break for me, one of my first major rule breaks. And an app, uh, an app in a moderator called Serendionix, mm -hmm. used to go by the name Dusk, yeah. she's quite well known. She actually wanted to ban me for no RP killing, um, since it was kind of, it just came out of the blue, and yeah, it was pretty blatant for RP killing. But, there was another mod on the team called X Squan or Swan, and he was also kind of like linked to the Flays. He told Coaster, the leader of the Flays at the time, that I had done this, and obviously the Flays had won the fight because I backed that. Um, he then made up this elaborate excuse to the to the mod Serenionix or Dust that I was um, an under like cover agent, mm -hmm. part of the Flays. Uh -huh. And so he wanted me to roll with them for a couple of days to sort of kind of like repay me for helping them out. And after a couple of days, I rolled with them and I never really stopped rolling with them. So you became, that's how you became a flay. Yes. Oh, that's this the thing. Is... I've heard about the flays. That, that's, that they were like a pretty, pretty big group um, in Athens. Like they were, um, I would say they were bandits. Yes. So like we the were, rivers. Yeah. Or better than the Reavers. Sorry, what? So they were like kind of like the Reaver group, the Reaver gang. If you ever heard, you, I <laughs> know, are yeah, like better than the Reaver. Yeah, gang. this is gonna be a bit of a toxic take, but the Reavers don't come anywhere close. No, it's, it's, talk your shit, man. Talk your shit. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> look, you can say what you you can, you can say what you gotta say what you need to say, man. I'm not gonna you know feel to offend you or nothing like that. You know, I know you're a confident <laughs> dude, so. Yeah, that's crazy. So that's how you became a flame. You became, you just, um, and you just kind of stuck with them the entire time. And so yep. what map was this? Pardon? 
Was this like every map you just became you just stay with the flows? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, eventually, I rose up to be the kind of leader of the GMT kind of European bannerman. Um, I also became like easily the best PvP at the time, mm -hmm. and I taught Cezals. Um, I met a lot of great friends. These guys, Chucka, Dane, um, Lunar Myth, Drunken Bagel, Onslaughted, a lot of great people. You said <clears> that you place. were their master, you taught them. Um, semi. Uh, mm. Semi. We kind of uh, taught each other. And that was that's You know, we shared that knowledge. But yeah, that's kind of transitioning to my next question. How did you become so damn good at PvP? Like, what, what is, like advice for me, because I'm not the best PvP. -er. I was decent at one point, but I just kind of mm. fell off a cliff because I stopped playing for like two years, and now I'm just terrible. Like, what what do you do, man? Like, I, like help a brother out, man. I'm trying to I'm trying to get to your level, man. Um, it started quite early. Uh, another great friend of mine's Munch. who was a play monster Munch, the YouTuber streamer. If you're interested. Mm -hmm. Um, he, he was really good at PvP, and so I used to practice with him a lot. And because we were kind of a very PvP-centric group, he used to play in a server called OC.TC, or also known as Project Ares. Mm -hmm. And it was the biggest PvP server at the time. Um, we practiced on there for about two years. Um, after that, kind of like died down. A lot of the group moved on to the series of kind of like action servers known as hardcore factions okay you were a faction player at one point okay yeah well hardcore factions are as a as a, as a game mode where if you die you get a 3d death back. oh so it was very hardcore it's actually one of the most famous well-known faction brand right now um oh it's still out still yeah, so it started out as a single server called Horrible Factions, and then it became so well, you know, known and renowned that it, it split into. The, mm. There's thousands now. There's, there's, I, I couldn't name. That's crazy, and I actually, um, I actually had a little stand on on faction servers because, but I couldn't really get into it because, look, I'm not trying to pay twenty dollars a month to to get Playing. these kits. Like, of course, you got to stay competitive, and of course, I got to make money. I respect that, but like, I can't do it, man. I, I can't, I can't, I can't get, to, I can't get into that, man. Yeah, I think the big thing is, um, oh, uh, played the game for a long time. Did you just disconnect on me? A few moments later. Yeah, but what were you saying? Um, experience playing the game. Um, a lot of people ask me the question, how do I get good? Uh, it's kind of like a hard question. For me, a lot of the things I do is uh, muscle memory. I don't really think about what I'm going to do. It just kind of happens. Um, so yeah, that's really all I can say. Got you. And do you like, do you like, do you like a credit? Like your skill at PvP, like to a degree of natural talent, where you always just naturally a good PvPer. Because I know a lot of it is just natural, just being able to naturally PvP well. Is that ha does that have something to do with it or no? Um, I have to think of this. Uh, I don't actually think that there's natural talent for PvP. I think if you're what I find is that most people who are good at PvP and MC tend to be good at other games. So I would say it's more of a natural kind of talent for gaming than it is for Minecraft PvP. Yeah. Um, Makes sense. Okay. I mean, I've met <coughs> crazy PvP ever. Uh, Drunken Bagel. I was doing the name Austin. He's crazy on every game. A game would have come out in a week and he would be, I would say, easily pro level. I think he's uh, easily number one, but he doesn't really play. Um, he anymore. played LTC, right? Um, Drunk and Big, I recognize that name. Yes. <clears throat> he used to play LTC. Okay. 
So, like, would you say that you're better now, or you're saying you're better back then? Like, is, is there like a? I used to be, I used to be way better back then. I I am not as good as I am before. Um, just because back then I used to play on practice servers mm -hmm. every day, twenty four seven. Um, I play a practice server once in a blue moon. When everybody, when somebody asks me for a deal, I don't really kind of enjoy PvP anymore. You just kind of, you know, that old age, man. You're getting a little bit old, man. You softening yeah. up with that old age. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's crazy. So, like, what do you like to do now when it comes to, the, like, just MC in general? What do you what do you enjoy? Uh, Truth be told, I, I don't really enjoy MCs a game anymore. Mm. Um, It's the, uh, the social aspect, mm, yeah. which is the most kind of... Um, uh, like important aspect for me, but outside of that building, I kind of find building quite therapeutic to agree. Mm. So it's just kind of like the love of the game, just kind of you know, you played it for like for so long and you put so many hours, it's just like you know, naturally, you're just gonna your love of the game is just gonna decline. I get that, I get that, and that's that's kind of like the same thing with me, I would say. Like, if I'm not really making or recording a video, like, there's not really much fun for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a social yeah. aspect. I love making content for people to watch, you know, like, for guys like you or, you know, guys, you know, who are subscribed. Like, I love making content. That's what I love doing. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, I kind of get that, man. I, I kind of get that. Because I remember I used to play religiously as a kid, too. I used to play Atheris a lot. Um, Again, go check out that series if you haven't. <laughs> um, I you know I just I I just love making content now. That's that's just kind of like I feel like that's like my purpose when I play this game. I don't do this. I don't go mm -hmm. on S and P servers or anything like that. Like this is that's why I love. So I I kind of get that, man. So yeah, I feel I feel that. So like that's kind of uh inspire you to like kind of step into like an administrative role and um. Yeah, I I do actually also quite make content. Um, I I like um. As kind of like nerdy as it may sound, kind of applying like theory to things and seeing how they work, testing out new rule sets, testing out new mechanics. Um, kind of, uh, I don't enjoy PvP as much as I do anymore, but I find the balancing aspect of PvP to be quite enjoyable. Mm, so you like you're you're like kind of that kind of sounds like you want to become a dev or something like that. Um. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, definitely not. But uh, when I was an admin, I would kind of apply some theory, kind of um, talk to other admins, and we would, we would come together with the whole sort of stuff, and then the group would uh, wizard up the, uh, the the theory, whatever it was, the mechanic. You said you said about the you said the wizard stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. What I mean is, he, he would take the idea and then code it. Mm. So you're the one who you're the idea. You're the one that makes the like the the ideas, and then like you have some other guys code it. Uh, sort of. We all we all patch them equally. I would say. Mm. So that that's yeah, that's crazy. That's like that's actually pretty cool, man. You know, that's that's one thing I do like about um you in general is like you seem like you're pretty versatile. Like there's a lot of people that are just good at PvP, and that's all they do. A lot of people are just good at RP. Like you kind of seem like you kind of step into different roles you know if it's admin or you know being a pvp or being an rp -er, you know that's 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 a pretty good balance you know that's 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 um you know one thing that i try to achieve especially but um mm -hmm. so what what how, what kind of got you to become an admin on fantasy rp um <sighs> oh boy this is a an interesting one um so all of the admin team that you see in effort right now uh did not intend nor want to be an ad. We joined this project under two uh, different leaders. Um, one of them was North Hawk, one of them was Hughes. Mm -hmm. uh, and they were the owners of the project. North Hawk and Fuse? Fuse Tyler. Fuse Tyler, yeah. Nah, they, they were um, in the Dreadlands, correct? Yes, they were. Yeah, I remember those guys. Yeah, they were. Um... They, and they're not—they're not here now, are they? Um, 
Yes, I think I don't think so. Oh, that's crazy. But yeah, what were you saying? Yeah, so <clears throat> um after a couple months there was some mixed kind of feelings about how we would move this thing forward. Mm-hmm. And they just couldn't dedicate the time uh, to the project. Um, I was a builder. Dupu was just a dev. Atu was a builder. Kaumunis was dabbling in some other stuff. And Pai was just a basic war member. And the issue was that we had seven different war members had seven different takes on the war. And if you know anything about you, like be starting an RP server, you know that that can't happen. Uh, you need, um, if there are seven different members, they need to have this same interpretation. So I organized a meeting, mm-hmm. um, and the result of that meeting was that we kind of ended up breaking off. Um, this is without going into the detail of, of everything. We kind of broke off and went on our own path, and I, I kind of stood up as a kind of lead figure in this, even though that I was just meant to be a builder. Mm-hmm. And when we made the deal with Archetub, um, myself, Dipper, Patu, Feminist, Pi, all of them became back into the deal. Mm. So that's how it happened. Okay. So you were already with this project. Like, you were like in it, you were with this pro- um, project in its infancy. Yes, since January this year, the very beginning, when it was being kind of written up and conscripted. Okay, yeah. So what, what, like, was this, um, what, what was, what was the, like, do you think it was like a new opportunity to like, or was you trying to like kind of break away from LOTC or like, what was your? <clears throat> uh, the truth is, we weren't trying to break off from LTC. More so because we were never with LTC. Mm. Um, we were trying to make our own server, um, which I think is done well. We you hold the tab list. There's only a few LTCers on the tab list. The rest are kind of schooler peers, and that was kind of our market or kind of target audience was that we would strike the deal with the owner of RP Hub, mm-hmm. um, and we would provide a fantastic platform for his player base, plus other players who are interested. Mm-hmm. And I think it's done well. I mean, if we're nearly into our third or fourth month in the server, I think it's the fourth month and, and a week. And the server has 70 people online at 5 a.m. in the morning. So it speaks for itself, I think. Yeah, yeah, that definitely. You guys definitely did a good job. Um, especially, you know, one thing, you know, one thing I do have a discrepancy about is with LTC and this community. And how it can be a little bit toxic sometimes, but like, like these guys are actually pretty cool people. Like even guys on the other squad, on the other side that we're fighting, they're pretty cool. You know, I feel like you guys have done a good job of just you know keeping the community as non toxic as possible. And I think that's you know, that's what's going to be your selling point. Of, you know, in the future, like you know, we're not we're we're gonna we're even though we're on different sides or we may think differently, we're we're not gonna be rude to each other we're gonna be you know what i'm saying if you guys yeah I, I think i think it was really nice to see um new new fresh faces kind of because with new fresh faces becomes new rp new rp makes everything more dynamic more fun more enjoyable more sustainable um and yeah it seems to have quite a nice like environment right now yeah definitely loving the vibe and um so, um, what what is your opinion of school RP? <laughs> your honest opinion. Um, my honest opinion of school RP is, uh, I can see why it's so big. Um, it's not actually those who are confused. It's not just school. It's more of like a you know, GTA life RP. It. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not my cup of tea personally, but um, it has some pretty impressive many things in it. Whether it's the football or the football, the football, the Python. Yeah, I, 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 when I was not kind of got on school RP, like coming from this like medieval like kind of setting, I just never really see how it could work because you know when you're playing medieval, you already kind of have yeah. like you already know, you know, 
how to kind of RP it, but like, how do you kind of, well, what do you RP and like, how do you RP a school RP server? I don't really get that. And yeah, like, it's a lot more casual. Yeah. And like, but I mean, it's based in like Japan or something like, so it's more like kind of yeah. like how you would talk in an anime or something like that. So I wouldn't even know how to even go about it. No, so, uh, I don't. I don't. I don't think so. You don't need to play a Japanese character on the server. Hmm. Well, I, yeah. I, I just think, yeah, I just think it, the reason why it isn't as the RP isn't as immersive is because like they don't have. We, there's not that many school RPs out there. Like for our fantasy RP, you have an LTC, you have a Thronecraft, you have all the other RP servers yeah. in the past that kind of set a precedent. For how you're mm -hmm. supposed to go about RPing with school RP, like there's really nothing, like there's no, there's no real way to RP. That's why I, I feel can like tell you that I've, 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 you know, talked to the owner about this, and the the truth about school RP is it's more of light RP. Mm. It's also kind of in. So if you're like a twelve year old, you come on the server. You're in school right now, so it's quite easy to kind of like. RP, you're not really RP though, because when you're coming on, you're a kid, it's like a school server, but there's like a social aspect. So it's, it's not really more RP than it is just kind of like kids hanging out in a server. Yeah, I can kind of what see I would that. Say. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's doing well for itself. Like, I can't, I mean, it, it's putting up great numbers. You know, you can't really. Yeah. You can't deny that. You can't take that away, you know? That's beating all the other RP servers and fold, so... You think even, um... Uh, LTC? Yeah, yeah. Um... By hundreds. By hundreds. I, I thought LTC was at, like, around 200. Every time I see it. Um, yeah. Uh, School RP has been peaking at about 400, 500 times, I think, during... During the uh, the height of the uh, lockdown, it had seven hundred people on, so Jesus it was Christ. doing really well for itself. Jesus Christ! I didn't even know that. That's crazy. Mm. I've never seen seven hundred people. Just imagine that. Mm. Imagine seven hundred people on the fantasy RP. Yeah, that'd be the dream. <sighs> but um, so on to fantasy RP. Um, why did you leave the dwarves? Why did I leave the dwarves? Why did you leave? What was your reasoning for leaving the dwarves? Um, okay, good question. Um, the truth is, I was kind of the only leader in the dwarves. Um, you can't solo manage a nation. It's, it's practically impossible. I was doing everything in the military and, and everything and, and the, the leadership. The only other person that was really helping me out was Hobbles. He was a champion, he was doing everything, surgery, had the houses, um, and this was the first four weeks into the server, mm -hmm. and it was very tiring. I was solo leading, I was the moderation admin, the leader of the wars, and I kind of um, overworked myself so much that I even starved myself, I lost sleep. Um, it was pretty bad, um, and it, and it kind of was the reason why I ended up taking quite a major step back in things. Mm -hmm. Well, whether that's adding stuff, or whether that's kind of leading stuff in general. Dang. I didn't even know that. I was like, I thought I thought he was you know the, the leadership was pretty solid with the dwarf, but Jesus Christ! No, I'm a I, I wish I wish it was starvation. <laughs> you were going crazy. <laughs> Yeah, well, not obviously I was eating, but I was I was eating as much. I mean, my my skin was feeling quite thin, and I was uh, having brief moments where I would I would like kind of shake. Um, it was pretty bad. Yeah. Dang, bro. <laughs> uh, all right, so as we all know, Orheim is inactive. Um, unfortunately, it's it's, it's dead. Dead. Okay. <laughs> it's very pretty bluntly he's dead. Um yeah. do you think your your leaving kinda of was the reason behind that? Yes, but it should have. Um there was a player base there. There just there's no leadership. That's the issue. 
nobody on that player base wanted to be a leader nor had the qualities to be a good leader. Mm-hmm. So when I left, it quickly fell apart. Um, but had there been a leader in that community, they could have easily stepped up and uh, the doors could have still been around today. Yeah, people don't realize like the qual- like the the importance of having a great leader, like great leadership. And that's one thing about this human nation. I'm so glad I joined. I was almost going to join the elves, um, you know, which mm-hmm. is also a good nation. But I'm so glad I joined the humans because they have such great leadership. They're so consistent, you know, constantly getting pings of join the rally, join this. Oh, a new event. That's just like, it's like, there's like great, it's great leadership. It's very consistent. And um, yeah, I can kind of see how that could uh, play a role in it kind of just dying out. Um, do you know if the dwarfs will ever make a comeback? Um, what I can tell you is, if my friend Kepos, great friend of mine, if he ever comes back, uh, then then I'll make it my goal to revive. Him. Mm, okay. Um. So somebody asked me. They said, um, some people uh say the server has lower player numbers. Um, you know around 40 players sometimes. Um, and they kind of, you know, it, it's always a comparison of LTC and all that stuff. And I know you guys don't necessarily com- try to compete with them or try to compare yourself with them. You're just like your own entity. But um, what do you think the reason for that is? Um, is it PV- lack of PvP? Um, um, are you talking about competing on the CRP to Lord of the Craft? Uh, yeah, I got a question about that. Someone asked So, me. this is something you need to understand, right? World of Craft is a server with nine years of history. That's nine years of established lore. Um, that's hundreds of communities, thousands of players, I think, has something like 30,000 members on the forums. Um, it's high up on the, the Google for just MCRP servers. So the truth of it is, it's quite a hard system to compete with uh, because you come on the server and it's quite hard to get yourself interested. And I mean that in the nicest way. I mean, I'm, it's admin. Uh, I obviously want to see FRP succeed. But the issue is, is that LTC dominates where L- uh, FRP doesn't. And it does so because of uh, established test. Um, established friendships. Um, so, uh, l- l- let me pitch something to you. Let's say there's a battle, and there's a battle between the elves and the humans, right, on our server. Now, coming into the server, this happened within the first months, and I believe you recorded it. Mm-hmm. And it was a really, really epic fight. We had 100 people in the same place, no lag. And it was good. We had fun. I was the part. Yeah. But the issue is there was no history, and it, the fight didn't really feel all that meaningful. Now put put that same situation out to see, and there's a history, of kind of conflicts between elves, humans, or other things, and it leads on to things more. And I I think that's where ever people find it hard to compete now. That being said, if FRP continues at the pace it will, or the pace that it is at right now, it has the potential for developing that history that it has. Yeah, so you know, this is a matter of just history and just a matter of, um, you know, just the longevity of LTC. It, it's always going to kind of beat out, um, you know, just a smaller server that's up and coming. And that that's what imparts... Well, well, go ahead. I would, I would, I would say... This server has its own community, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of the players are S- SRP or school players. Um, mm-hmm. So I don't think that SRP has been beat uh, because what you'll find out is that SRP actually beats LTC and the off peak hours. Mm-hmm. But when it comes to the peak hours, LTC easily beats it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That, 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 makes, that makes a lot of sense. And, um, so, um, you know, uh, as an admin, you kind of, you know, get the 
the scoop on you know what was new to come on the server. Um, are there newer things like such as newer races or anything like that that may be added in the future? I know there was talks of orcs. I don't know. If, I remember uh, I was talking to I think a giant. I think it was a uh, pie. And he was telling me yeah. that there was not going to be. Uh, they weren't really looking into putting in or um, orcs. But they didn't mention uh, Vikings or something like that. Um, some one of my friends mentioned they might add a Viking race. I was just trying to see if that was um, clarify that with you. So a sense of step that I've been I've had absolutely no information. Um, I have uh, been focused on myself yeah. and just kind of uh, IRL, mm-hmm. but um. What I can tell you is when I was an admin, there was a lot of information on There's a lot of good things planned for this server. Uh, Dipper is making quite a well developed magic button. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know, I think you may have seen my videos. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're really cool, those were only some of the spells. Um, and they were kind of not concrete, but more of an example of what, what we can achieve, or uh, what we could achieve, I should speak in the past tense. Mm-hmm. Um, but as for another race, there is one in the works. Uh, I've seen the development for it. Whether or not that's going to be a playable race was a kind of comment or debate at the time. Um, but yeah, a lot of good things for the servers in place up and coming. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I saw that Magic uh, plugin, and it looks pretty damn crazy. Like, it looks pretty amazing. Um, you know, and that's like. That's one thing about you guys that, like, you guys are, like, already separating yourself from other RPA services. Like, you know, like, the whole thing with Magic, you're adding that, but, like, mechanically into the game instead of just RP and stuff like that. And that can that can really be, like, a game changer for you guys. Yeah. Um, yeah. That, yeah. It's a game changer in different ways because it's a Magic plugin that will have um, a mechanical function for PvP, mm-hmm. but also, a, like, um... Also, like an RP function, because I believe at the time, unless things could have changed in the past month, but we were also going to develop a kind of feature in the plugin where you could do the spells without doing damage. So, people who wanted to do the RP fights could use the spell to kind of um, illustrate without actually, you know, damaging the player. Mm. Yeah, that yeah. definitely sounds very interesting. So, um, how, like, touching on the magic a little bit, how will you go about, like, how will it be, like, to attain it? Because I know, like, something like that is going to take a long time to really get to. Um, I would guess in the next couple months, maybe November, December. Uh, I'm, I'm saying, like, how can a player sort of, like, oh, go about sorry, attaining what? something like that? Because I know, like... oh. It's gonna be a long process. Like, will there be uh-huh. like sort of levels to it, like to what you can do, or I, like? I truthfully, I truthfully don't know. Um, it was one of the big kind of discussions. We were quite divided on this, and um, I don't want to give it too much, but there was a lot of uh, kind of opposing views about how we should go about it. Mm-hmm. So the first thing that we did is we did a feedback, um, a feedback post, and the feedback post kind of just said, you know, we. We want to know what your guys' thoughts are and how we should approach this. Um, I think each admin had their own unique opinion, so we wanted to get the, the since we couldn't agree, we needed to uh, kind of like a mandate from the player base. So uh, if you're an FRP player and you're interested in how the magic is developed, I would say that um, you should definitely head up that thread um, because that will be roughly how they will go forward. I, I'm led to believe from Gosh. Okay. Who I'm not on the foot anymore. All right. Well, um, what is your opinion? Like, what? How do you think you should go about attending it? Should it be common? Uh, should it be like I don't think it should be uncommon. Should it be really hard to get, or should it be like extremely mm-hmm. hard and like only select few members of the server, um, should get it? But yeah, my my opinion on the was was probably the most outlandish. And I wanted it to be common, um, and. I wanted a mage, a major spellcaster, whatever you want to call them, to be on the same level as a knight 
not as strong as a knight, not as weak as a knight, but just kind of around the same skill level as you would find a knight. Um, because personally, I'm not a big kind of uh, fantasy person, but mm-hmm. I would say, apologies, <coughs> I would say that I don't really like the fantasy trope of these powerful mages. I kind of like them being quite dull and bland. Mm. So that is very, that's a very interesting opinion. Uh, I think it should be pretty hard. Like looking at it from my perspective, I think it should be pretty hard. And I think the like the magic, um, it should come in levels. Like it should come in like maybe like three tiers. And, um, you know, like it should be like, your um, progression should be mediated by like a, a member of the event team or something like that, or like every mm-hmm. time you want to go up a tier, you have to have proof or something like that to show that you kind of went through the process to go up a tier or not. And then um, it should—I don't think it should be as strong as a knight. I disagree. I think um, it should be a little bit stronger because you you realize. But I also believe that it should have some like kickback. It should have some disadvantages, mm-hmm. like. You lose a lot of hunger, like um, if you use it a lot, or you gain weakness, or something like that. Cause like something like yeah. magic, it, it even for like an RP stamp, like for RP, it's really hard to attain like that. Really like that master status. So even though it is kind of common um, for RP users to get it, like to be able to use that like mechanically on the battlefield, I feel like it should be way more difficult. But you know mm-hmm. that's a very interesting uh opinion. Um, how how are you gonna go about? Um, I know there's gonna be a lot of lag that kind of comes with that. You know, like with all the particles and all the things flying around. Mm-hmm. You know, how are you guys gonna go about that? Or are you not sure? So yeah, but I'm glad you asked this. Actually, this, this is something we considered. Uh, there was going to be two types of uh, variations in the plugin. Um, there was going to be the uh, I'll throw out a random number because we weren't certain on this. Let's say if the DPS of the server hit 10, mm-hmm. then you know, the, the fancy fireball would just be replaced with an arrow that can be a bit of fire. Right? Mm-hmm. We would essentially take every, every magic spell and we would give them two types. We would give them a nice kind of. Um, Flow, flowery kind of nice, nice explode, like, like one that's appealing to see. And then this is on a good TPS, and if the TPS can lower, then we replay it with a more dull, uh, lag free version. So we actually did have that in plan already. That's actually a pretty, that's a great way to go about it. It's actually pretty nice. Um, will you be amazed though? Will you, like, would you, is that something you go into, or are you just. No, afraid not. I'm, uh, a bit of a, a medieval you know, European history nerd. I don't really find kind of the kind of fantasy tropes to be that interesting. Mm-hmm. I kind of feel like um, you know, being being a a knight or something, or you know, just a a um, a simple kind of like medieval European peasant. That's kind of like my allure. So no, I, I don't think I will be a French friend. So you're a little bit old school, huh? You just want to stick with the regular yeah. uh, uh, clicking in. <laughs> yeah. So that, like, that is yeah. that your character right now? Is that um who your character is? Uh yeah. This this character right now uh, was the uh, the marshal. Um, I think you were you were under me too. Um, uh, for three weeks we had quite a lot of events. I think we had uh an event every other day. Four events a week. It was quite hectic, but you know, uh, a lot of people enjoyed them. They were quite fun. Mm, okay. What What is his name? Cause, cause um, I, is it Ethelwine so, or? Uh, Ethelwine, yeah. Ethelwine, okay. Um, which is a uh, elf and friend. Oh, so you're so not. Oh, okay, you're an elf friend, okay. I, it's I'm, uh, more of a nickname. Okay, okay. I, I miss Oswald, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I miss Oswald, I, I, yeah. I, I like him Oswald. better. He's my favorite character. Alright, come on Oswald. Oswald, come on, we must fight together. Fall back, lad. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, you should stay and fight. I got you. Well, uh, well, how come you killed him off? Was he just getting a little bit too old, or you wanted to try something new, or? Um. Basically, Oswald was a character I need for the creation of Marvel and for all the events history, which I think I, I and others who embarked on that achieved. Mm -hmm. um, what I then wanted to do once I saw the bar which was popping, it was very alive, I wanted to go and put my expertise into West Ham and not build it up, which is how I became Marshall. Um, and the truth is, he thought was a kind of peasant character, not really like a military guy. And I didn't want to leave that character down the path. So I decided to kill him off um, and just leave him as this kind of like head that immortalized this peasant instead of kind of like bringing him up to be this, this knight. Because I remember I was, I was um, offered knighthood in the court of the king. So I was involved and I denied it mm -hmm. because I felt like he didn't like that character. So. Oh, okay. That's, that's actually really interesting. I like that. I like that. So, you know, you you just like, you love staying in character and you don't want to deviate from that. Yeah, I, I actually have some issues with that. You know, there's like a lot of things I want to do in RP, but I just feel like it wouldn't fit this guy right here, Caddy. So it's like, yeah, I don't know, man. I am think I'm going to have to pass on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I wanted to ask, also ask you, um, I forgot to ask about the, um, when you moved from the Dweds to uh, humans, what made you choose human? Did you just... What 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 kind of? Uh, uh, so I've mentioned my friend before, Kevin, who's a great friend of mine. He that is actually the reason why I embarked on nation leadership on this server. Um, wanted to to try the dwarves. Historically, as you see, he has been quite a well-known dwarf. He was king a couple times. So he was well-known the dwarf kid. Um, so we embarked on the dwarves, but unfortunately there was um. Obviously, I've already explained why that went downhill, mm -hmm. and he he just straight up told me that he wasn't enjoying dwarf um, and so he wanted to try out humans. And uh, actually, a lot of the group that I was with, Barbarian here, kind of it's on. Um, we kind of were leaning towards the elves, but mm. the elves were popping. They had about seventy people on, and they're setting. At one time, it was amazing. So we decided to people leave. wait seventy people online at once. Yes, and the L. Yes, Jesus Christ, for, for a month straight. Uh, and and West Ham had about twenty people. So we decided that we would go and bring our expertise to West Ham instead. Um, you know, so that there's a not a twisted balance of power. Mm, yeah, that that's actually that's a pretty noble view, and I I thank you because uh your expertise was definitely needed in West Ham. Like I definitely seen like a um like a, like an increase like in player base and you know in everything of West Ham when uh when you guys decided to make that change. So you know it was, it was a team effort. It was a team effort between everyone. But yeah, what I what I can tell you is if you have someone, for example, like myself. Who's quite hungry to do stuff mm -hmm. uh, and that and emboldens other people who, who are also like minded but just not might not have lacked the motivator or have the motivation to do so. Yeah, so I, I don't take the credit, uh, it was a team effort, but I, I do definitely felt that I was kind of catalyst to get enough to roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I mean, it was doing pretty good, like the army was doing pretty good. Um, I think his name was uh with Aid Wolf or E Aid Wolf. I, I don't know his name. Tornado Mamluk, yes. Mamluk, and when I tell you this guy is the funniest dude in battles because he is so intense, but like yeah, <laughs> even he, when we're not he fighting, is, uh, he's, he's like he's like something go, go, go. I brought up. So he um he took my leadership quite literally, <laughs> and obviously I'm a little bit more mellowed out. Uh huh. Yeah, but, definitely. Yeah. But the production was, you know, you know, the good to even better than, you know, and, you know, I, I mean, I hope, I hope he comes back, but, 
I mean, that was um. I you can even hear it in some of my videos just how intense he was. I mean, it was it was pretty. Yeah, funny. no, definitely. Yeah, I, I, I was um. <laughs> I don't know if I can say this, but um, we had an officer beating, and the officer suggested that I should uh, invoke a lot of of language that tornado used, um, to to get people to do stuff. But, um, I would say the language wasn't very appropriate, and I uh. I just find it funny, you know. Wait, um, wait can you uh, repeat what you said? I didn't really kind of, I didn't really get what you, I didn't hear you. The the officers in West Ham suggested that I use a lot of the language that people used to use. Mm. Um, but the lang language wasn't very appropriate, uh, family friendly. Um, but it kind of just goes to show you how intense he actually was. Yeah, definitely. Because I mean, I remember like he, it was like. Some of the messages he would put in uh in the uh in the uh, everyone the announcement chats were pretty brutal, but <laughs> yeah, it was pretty brutal. But I mean, I understood it. I understood it. It was, you know, just to make us better as a nation. So I can't really, I can't really fault him. But yeah, I mean, so um, kind of moving on. Uh, what issues do you um think the server needs to improve on, um, as a player? Uh, if you, you know. Clear. Uh, I think I made a post about that, um, before I left. There, there's a big issue. It plagues a lot of RP servers. Um, it's very easy for me to, um, for kind of illustration purposes, leave the town hall, walk in, you know, see you there, and then, you know, you're not really saying anything and then leave or walk out. It's very easy for me to do that, right? Mm -hmm. And it's something that plagues the RP servers. There's not much initiation and there's this kind of entitled feeling that I walk into that building and the people interact with me first. And whilst um, it works both ways, sometimes you need to be the one that are smooth, and uh, I think I said this in a course. When I first came to Barwich, I went around West, and there was about ten people, and they weren't really doing anything. And um, I went out of my way to interact with them, and because I interacted with them, you by came down to me, and we had a briefing, and then it dispersed, and yeah. about. A couple hours later, these people were now approaching me instead. And even though it was a brief character, even though it was very minimal, what that did was made me an approachable person and ended up bringing in the ARP. And so from that, I was able to, with uh, Fobble, um, Earl 7, recruit a kind of peasant player base for Barbies. Mm. So yeah, that's what I think. Uh, so basically, it that seems like more of like a issue with like the player base, like you know, with the mindset of a player, like they just ain't they're, yeah. they're feeling entitled to people like starting RP instead of just initiating them, themselves. Yeah, definitely. I think that is the, the biggest issue, um, which every server faces. But I think, yeah, that's the biggest issue right now. Yeah, I think the 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 remedy for that is basically kind of drilling that into our new players. Um, you know, OOC like go like initiate RP with other people. Go talk to other people. Like people aren't just gonna go talk to you. And like that's one thing. Like like you're gonna feel a little bit awkward doing it, but I mean, at the same time, like you're gonna build like connections, and you know that can definitely help you like dividends in the future. And you know, you know, you never know who you're talking to. You could be talking to the future king of fucking um, Westlandia, and all of a sudden you're gonna be yeah. like his right hand man just because you just had a simple encounter. You know that can lead into that. You know, and that that would that's what kind of leads into players not wanting to play anymore because like I have like oh I have no friends no no. no. You gotta go talk to people, mm -hmm. man. Like you gotta you gotta mm -hmm. speak up, and you know like that's something I had to learn. You know, especially like even at this age now, I was like. Damn, no, I don't talk to anybody. Like nobody talks to me, and so I just had to figure. out, I said, you know what? F it. Let me go. Um, just pull up to this dude. Let me talk to him. 
And I literally, um, I think it was on LTC. It was one of my streams. I just went up and talked to somebody. He was fishing. We talked for like five or six minutes just about anything. And, mm -hmm. you know, like, even though it's brief encounters, like, it, it will help you. And it will just help the RP flow a little bit better. Yeah, that's actually pretty yeah, good. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, where do you see FR Fantasy RP uh, as a server in a couple years? Um, I think that if it maintains uh, its current flow, uh, the current flow of RP, the a very impressive amount of uh, updates um, to the server, whether that's plugins or texture pack. I think the texture pack is a, is, is a very uh, under kind of represented, overlooked fact of the uh, server. I think it's amazing. Um, the shout out to that is to Ricky and Seven Keys. Great. Great people, um, as well as Kim Minutes for running running that team. Mm -hmm. um, I think if it keeps at its current pace, um, it will easily become one of the bigger servers. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it, it's got a pretty stable picture. See that with some confidence and certainty, mm -hmm. uh, mostly because it has the financial kind of backing of uh, the RP Hub yeah. um, community. Uh, which provide the server for really, really cool facts mm -hmm. uh, that people may or not know. Um, and they, they work together they, without going into too much kind of confidential kind of behind it stuff. I don't really know if this would be kind of like on to say, but uh, they, they help out the server in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. um, advertising is one thing, so um, but marketing and uh, Kind of also providing uh, a bit of a already organized player base and school RP. So I think it's it's pretty stable, and if it continues at this rate, it may be a number two uh, server. Number two behind LTC? Uh, that's to be decided, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I, I, I can say for certain. Okay. So, like, do you guys, will you guys, um, how how long do you think this this map will exist? Um, oh, okay. Um, well, you need to remember I'm no longer an admin. I can't see the earth. Mm -hmm. The point of our design for was is that maps are meant to be. Wait, what did you say? So. Maps are meant to be built on and developed. Uh huh. I don't really think it'd be a new map anything. Yeah, that's one thing. Um, L I think LTC that they do like every every other year, right? Or every year, damn near. Every, every, every year, half or two years. Yeah, that's that's one thing I don't really. Um, I kind of <laughs> always like I always like kind of like having maps that are, like stay like stay around for like years at a time. Uh, it just kind of just helps you build like a sense of stability. Uh, I feel like this is some kind of like the flow of it just kind of gets disrupted because like maybe you're starting this big ass you know school or this new town and all of a sudden okay servers get yeah. wiped everything's yeah. changed you're gonna lose players doing that. Uh, I'm surprised LCC stayed as long as it has. And uh, bro, it became quite a core tenant of the server so much so that it became something rely on for generating our green activity. Um, you find it hard to believe. I, I agree with the opinion it is cool. um, But there, there's a lot of weird thing to work out for LTC and if that happens to be one of them. Okay, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I, that That's just my personal thing. Because, uh, like, I feel like we, we'll just be doing, like, it just be like, there's nothing really new that's being added. It just kind of seems like it'd be unnecessary. But at the same time, you know, uh, LTC just like kind of created like, it's it's like a, it's almost like a a thing now. Like, okay, after yeah, two yeah, years, it's a, it's a core, so, core headed. So it's like embedded in the community at this point. There's gonna be a new map, so don't get too attached. Yeah, yeah it's, it's almost um, a bit of a culture where. I noticed some people would um, quit LTC when I was playing. Uh, 
they still intended to play, but they, they waited for the opportunity of a new pack to do so. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. You know, I, I can I can see that. Yeah. Um. So you know, with I, I like to always ask this question. Uh, in closing, um. So objectively, uh, what do you who what do you think? Which server is better to you, Fantasy RP or LTC? Like as a player, what do you, what, like what do you enjoy the most? Um. What do I enjoy the most? Yeah, as a, like, or what do you what's um, do you think is better necessary? Like, I'll be honest. I think you have different types um, of RP, right? Two different types of enjoyment. I, I wouldn't actually put it up to the scale. Uh, I think there's quite a, a big common trend to try and put them together. They mm-hmm. don't fit. Um, they're very opposing. Now, truthfully, um, uh, I, I would say that I enjoyed my time on LTC um, and comparing my time on LTC to, to DFRP, I would say that I had a tremendous amount of, of more memories from the amount of the you know, large friends. Yeah. Um, that being said, I FRP has the potential to provide a, a new platform um, and a new experience with new people, mm-hmm. and I think that the that you know putting aside my friends, the the people in FRP are a more enjoyable to be around. Um, they don't have this very arrogant kind of uh, self obsessed uh, persona. Yeah, um, they're quite out. Yeah. Um, whereas I. I tend to think the LTC players tend to be more so and um, unfortunately LTC has quite a reputation uh, played by uh, predatory staff members and or players which yeah. I think has also become unfortunately a tenant of the server um, because every every year there's four or five staff members always through that type of behaviour yeah. um, so, so what I can say is I enjoyed my time on LTC more so than I have FRP. Mm-hmm. Guaranteed, I had 10 years on LTC. Uh, but if FRP can tag the hard rate, I think that uh, I can even very quickly change. Mm. And so, like, yeah, that's another thing. Like, you know, you're such a biv- um, pivotal part in, like, the PvP community on LTC. And, you know, someone on um, FRP, like, so what do you think is your opinion on the toxicity of the community? Because, like, that's a huge issue on LTC. Like, what is your your opinion on it? Because I know you're, like, a big part of the LT, uh, PvP community, and some people can attribute a lot of the toxicity to the PV, PvP community, which um, yeah. I can agree on because, like, I've yeah, dealt with I, a lot of... i dealt with a lot of shit when it comes to... The, like, I have a lot of stories, man. <laughs> but um, what's your opinion on it? What's your take on it? My opinion is that the PvP community in RP servers is trash. I, I, uh, I actually watch some of the people, um, and uh, I think they're uh, irredeemable people. Um, they're, and my most disliked kind of quality at the computers in RP servers is they, they tend to harass folks. And um, I don't care about their kind of the reputation, the legacy, the people that claim the flays. We never target noobs. Uh, as a group, we mm-hmm. react to people. So, you know, if, if, if a group, you know, talks to the chat, we would, we would react to it. We would PGP, we would seek them out. But we never went out of our way to act, hunt down noobs or kill noobs or take their items. Um, and unfortunately, uh, the current community on FPV community, and I have seen this on FRP too, um, they, they tend to do just that. They tend to hunt nerves, um, take their stuff. They see them as easy targets. I think it's pathetic. Um, it's uh, bad for a server and a community. Um, it's a bad first impression. And I actually think genuinely it um, harms the PvP community more than it helps. If a new player who enjoys RP but might like PvP gets constantly harassed and bullied by the PvP community, they tend to have this quite outspoken 
faith against it. It just I think a bit of an issue because people seem to have the opinion that EVP um, is uh, not meant to be kind of co-aligned with RP. And mm-hmm. I disagree, so I think that PVP is the mechanics of it, also RP. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the issue is that PVP on these servers has become quite important of RP. And that's just really what I said they moved for. So um, I think that, yeah, the PVP community has, has done more harm for PVPers um, and the PVP community then our peers who have sought to remove it have that score. Um, and I think that part and noobs and uh, kind of uh, screwing with player bases is quite a mentality. Um, and, and unfortunately, yeah, it tends to tend to break with toxic people because um, their actions uh, encourage those behaviors um, and um, invite it. Yeah, that's. I can agree with that. And why? Why do you think the admins um are like don't really respond um to like you know why don't they, why do you think they don't do more to like try to like eliminate this issue? Well, the issue is um the PvP community also tend to be the biggest crybabies as well. Um, they are quite persistent. Uh, take it from me. Um, if they don't get their way, they can harass. Um, this is why I, I consider them quite horrible and, uh, and irredeemable. They will harass DDoS docs. I mean, I, I hold my hands up. Uh, I had quite similar um, habits, but uh, I did not go out of my way to attack people that you know, didn't attack me first. Mm-hmm. Even then, I see the errors and the ways that I acted. Sure. Um, they are the the worst with because of the most persistent. They DDoS, they hack, they dox, uh, and the, the truth is, the staff don't want to deal with that. And I don't blame them as volunteers. Um, I've seen some staff be run off servers, uh, the box. So yeah, that's that's crazy. That's, Man, I, I mean, like, I kind of figured that stuff would happen, but, like, man, that's... You said that you dox people before, and DDoS people and all Not that. Not dox. Not dox. Dox, is, that's pretty hectic, man. That's pretty hectic. No, I, I, um... When I was a kid, uh, uh, a couple of years ago, I had quite a reputation for DDoS. Although I never actually did DDoS, right? Um... I did kind of uh, join that culture uh, of what I complained about. I hope I hope my hand. The thing is, I've changed. I've matured. I was a kid back then. Change like, man, don't. change man, you guys. <laughs> but yeah, keep going. Yeah. yeah, but yeah. So um, I took part in that culture, um, and I no longer do so. Um, it's quite. It's quite a very selfish culture, but it is what it is. I don't want it. No, I feel that. I feel that, bro. Man, you know, it's good that you kind of uh, changed from that and, you know, and you realized, you know, you, you became, you um, redeemed yourself because, you know, there's a lot of people in the PvP community that just aren't. And it's, it's, it's like they don't really have to be redeemable people because they don't really face any, like, repercussions necessarily like okay you get banned oh i can just make another account oh if i get banned on this it's fine it's just a computer game so like there's no real there's no real way of combating that and then you have the the um the fear of just getting ddos and or hacked or whatever so it's like i can understand why kind of admins don't really can't don't really do as much as they kind of could because they you know i'm there's there's no real change in that there's like well, yeah, no I, I think that. a lot more chance. Yeah, man. Yeah, I I understand that. I and, and like that's just kind of a necessary evil. Like when you're playing these type of servers, like 
as although you you know you want to have a like like things just can't be perfect you know you're always going to deal with that side you know the dark side of you know things and uh, but um you know you just do the best you can man and i'm kind of glad mm-hmm. that um you know frp has been you know doing pretty well with it i haven't dealt with any issues with pvpers or you know so i mean mm-hmm. like i feel like you guys are you know moving in the right direction you know as much yeah, as you would, really can i was quick to um eliminate on that that kind of uh, good rate. yeah um I, I know how to spot it, and, and uh, I know what it looks like. And I, I was to be quite um, diligent on. Yeah, that's um, that's that's actually the good thing about having someone like you that's been in like that kind of lifestyle, or you know, whatever you want to call it, um, with people. Lifestyle, uh, life- made some sort of like criminal mastermind. <laughs> I mean, look, when you're DDoSing and DDoSing people, you're damn near a criminal. <laughs> but yeah, like, so you like you're you're able to like, it's like easy for you to spot things like that. You know, like you you kind of you kind of need that versatility in your like your admin team and your staff team. So I mean, you know, that's that's really good, man. Um, but yeah, it's um been great chatting with you, bro. Um, yeah, I appreciate it, man. I enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, man, I really have. I really have. I think this is gonna be a good video. Um, is there anything else you want to say? Um, before we end it off. Yeah, so, I'll leave it with this. There's a, there's a common friend who, who seems to find me this unapproachable kind of toxic guy. Truth is, I'm not. If you ever want to hit me up for anything, my DMs are always open. I like talking to people. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, 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 it's quite a, um, mix kind of perception of me, but that's not who I am. So if you know, I want to talk, you want to hit me up. I'm always interested. I want to eliminate that that yeah, perception. And um, yeah. that was like kind of my reasoning because like I knew that you were a pretty good dude. Like, and that's crazy because I always kind of heard stories about you, and I know you were in like the PvP community when you first. So when you first messaged me, I was like, you were talking to me like all polite and complete sentences. I'm like, this guy's. This is one of the nicest dudes I met out here, man. Like this dude is really cool. So I mean, like, yeah, man. Like uh, I was like, and I was surprised you actually watched a lot of my videos. Like that was that was pretty cool too. I was like, okay. Yeah, I got introduced to videos by uh, some friends of mine, Ibrahim and Adam. Great friends. Ibrahim and Adam. Those are like those are my brothers, man. <laughs> yeah, great guys. Really great guys. Okay, what was the uh, what was the first video you watched? Kind of an ego flex from you, real quick. Um, I believe it was a live stream. Oh, um, nice and it was you and the uh, the map where Vanadis was a thing, and it was between the the Reaver cover. Oh, uh, was it? Renatus. Oh my God, was it that one? Was that one stream where there was like thirty people we, and they would like um, uh, stream snipe me? Damn near. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was that one. Oh my God. Oh God, that was that was the worst thing ever. Yeah, I remember that. I think I think we actually rallied to to um defend you from bandits too. Oh really? So yeah, but nobody really ended up attacking you. So. Yeah, it was cool. I think I ended up because we were actually gonna end up fighting this one dude. I don't I forgot who it was. Um, and um, Ibrahim was like, "No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it." Uh, he's like he's too strong, and I'm like, no, there's two of us, man. We could take him. Like it's not, but, but like, yeah, man. That was oh, that of... was me. I approached you guys. Please. That was you. So yeah, I think I approached you guys. Why? Uh, EPM. Why? <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't attack. You're Antonius. That was Antonius, right? Yeah, that's me. Yes, I'm oh my Antonius. god. Well, well, why would you? Why would you? Why would you do that? <laughs> I, I don't even remember what happened, but I'm pretty sure we didn't even attack you. We were just like seeing what's up. Yeah, I was actually, I was actually ready to fight. I was like, bro, fuck this dude. I'm gonna just, whoop. I'm just gonna. We got two. We got two of us, man. It's one of him. None of his boys are jumping in. We're, we're gonna take this guy on. Um, I'm glad I didn't. I didn't. That would have been a very bad day for you. Wait, we it's three v one. Honestly, like. No, don't don't ever fight DPM Magic. He can he can go maybe fight thirty guys on his own. Yeah. Uh. 
Okay, okay. But um, yeah, I mean, it's kind of crazy. Now I'm interviewing the same guy that <laughs> harassed me on stream. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. But yeah, um, again, guys, um, if you guys had any, uh, you know, weird opinions of DPM, uh, I hope this kind of interview changed your perception of them. What, what should my title be? I should, it should be like, DPM is not toxic. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, I was yeah. thinking from PVP hey. goon, from Haiti PVP goon to admin. I don't know. Yeah. Wait, what did you say? Can you repeat? Can you repeat what you said? <laughs> I mean, that's gonna get those clicks, man. That's why I'm looking for those clicks. Man. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'll think of something. I'll think of something. But uh, yeah, it was great having you on, bro. Um, you know, I have a, I hope you have a good rest of your day. Um, I think it's morning time for you in uh I think it's in, you're you're British, right? You're in Britain. Yep. yep. Uh, okay. I well, I mean, I hope you have a good great rest of your day. Um hopefully this video will be up by tomorrow the next day so you'll be able to show all your friends and you know all that, but um yeah, it was great having you on, man. Yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate it. I Take appreciate care. it. You too, man. Wait, you can't do Yo, that. No, 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 you can't, wait, no, 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 you can't do that. Hold up, stop, 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 stop. Wait, lol.